Today I'm going to be talking about Aristium thefts and what can be done to mitigate the risks. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and let's talk about those four major Aristium thefts on several platforms that have been occurring, especially the last one with the Veritasium platform that had a loss of $8.4 million of coins. Luckily, none of the users were actually affected in this case, but that company is still getting pinched for that amount. And this problem is not specifically regulated to Arithium, it also affected Bitcoins. And the solution I have to this problem is a solution that is built into the networks that makes it so much easier. And the applications even have further features to prevent other issues as well. Let's start off with a logical question. Would you give your wallet to a stranger to take care of it? Probably not. Much like the money inside of your wallet where you believe you are responsible for it, your coins should be your problem. So your cryptocurrency coins, whether Arithium or anything else, should be on your machine, not the machines of others. Because that means that you're the last line of defense that gets to protect them. And while you think that is dangerous, it's not anywhere near as dangerous as you would think. So the Arithium currency has wallet programs. You install these wallet programs, they are absolutely free on your computer. Once they are installed, if you didn't already have one, you can open a wallet. Then making that wallet secure by encrypting said wallet with a code. Why do you want to encrypt it? I'll explain it to you. Viruses often target computers for wallets to attempt to drain them. The fact of having a password prevents that from occurring. That is already safeguard number one. Safeguard number two is to make sure that you copy that wallet onto an external hard drive that's disconnected or onto a jump drive. Much like your money shouldn't be on a server, the wallet program should be on your computer, but the wallet itself should be on something that is disconnected from the computer so that now you don't lose your wallet if your computer's ever encrypted by ransomware. So that is another step. And of course, once you have all this already ready, all you need to do is to transfer most, if not all of your cryptocurrency from that online server over to your offline wallet. And that itself will protect your investments. So that's just something that I would like to point out that seems to be so easy, so easy logical and of course free to do when you think about it so i hope you liked this episode but if you didn't dislike this episode share with those that you think benefit from this and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions comments suggestions for topics email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com and if you want to make this show better go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else thank you for watching and goodbye